Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're going to be doing an EDC pocket dump and this is not gear that I carry all of it with me all the time, but these are the items that I've been kind of rotating through from belts to knives to flashlights, multi-tools, other things that I've been carrying over the last handful of weeks or months and I just want to highlight them, let you know what I'm carrying, what I like about some of the things, maybe some of the features I'd like to tweak on some other, uh, some other items. So uh, yeah, as always, I love to do these videos just to let you know what I'm carrying, but also to hear what are you carrying? What do you have that I have and that you like? What do you have that I have that you don't use because you don't like it anymore? Why did you change your opinion? So, you know, the comments down below are always helpful just to keep the discussion going as you look at my EDC pocket dump for April 2016. All right, let's jump into it here. First thing I want to talk about is this right here. This is the Wild, Wild Hedgehog Tactical uh, trauma kit. I did a review on this, but this has been my standard now in my everyday carry bag. So it's not on my person as far as like in a pocket every day, but really liking this guy a lot. Just think they put some really good thought into building this, constructing it, what they put in it, what they left out of it. I added a couple extra things, some band-aids and stuff like that, but this is a great item. I'll put the uh, link to this as well as the link to my review in the uh, description below. So this is Basically, if you have a massive blood loss situation going on, this is a great option for you. Next up here, we have this RoboCop personal alarm. I did a review on this, so I'll put a link to that down below. But uh, this is rigged up in my everyday carry system on a lanyard, and uh, the lanyard's you know hooked like this, and it's never with this this section, which is what you pull out to set off the alarm. That's never fallen out. It's never gone off accidentally. But nice little item, you know. I just think about if you re need really to get somebody's attention, even if you were out, you know, going for a walk in the woods and you got hurt and you couldn't signal. Um, this could be definitely a good way to get somebody's attention and certainly, um, you know, just for self-defense fears in a situation when, you know, a bunch of people come rushing up on you and you want people to know that you're in trouble, you know, pulling the, uh, pulling this little tab and setting off the alarm is certainly a, a good way to get attention. I actually recommended this to one of my coworkers and she picked up one and you can get these individually or in threes. So check this out. I'll put a link down below both to my review and to, uh, you know, if you want to purchase this item or any of the other items, I'll put links down below. Uh, let's talk about, let's see, flashlights here. This is the S30R Javelot from Olight. And this has been a good light. It's it's uh, a little bit heavier than maybe most people would like for an EDC light, but it doesn't, doesn't bother me. It is rechargeable. There's the base there. And it does come with a base that you can plug into a USB. And uh, my my system is to have that base... Um, that should that should be my office so that when I come into work if you know I want to take this out while I'm working on my computer I can just be charging it while it's sitting right there so cool little light and uh, or maybe a medium sized light for some people but that's been a go-to for me from Olight as well as this one right here this is the S1 baton just a tiny tiny little light and this thing has functioned really well for me. This light is a little bit wider than maybe, you know, a pen light or maybe the Three Night TI-5, which I've used on and off, but you just get so much output from this. You can clip it on a hat. So yeah, I, I, these have been kind of my two real go-to lights when it comes to, when it comes to flashlights. You can see a bunch of knives here. My CRKT Squid, this is the stone wash version. And this knife has just been great. Uh, I try to keep it nice and sharp. Yeah, it is right now, it's really sharp. Uh, and I've actually seen on, uh, some different groups on Facebook who really like CRKT. I think it's called CRKT Underground. Um, a lot of people have modded these out, so the frame lock side they keep the same, but they've done all kinds of cool things uh, with this side of the um, of the handle. So just a lot of cool options when it comes to the squid. And a lot of people have liked this. This is a Lucas Burnley design, and that's been a go-to for me over the past handful of weeks and months. You can see here, this is a new item for me. This is, let me show you, uh, where is it on the, uh, I think it's, is it on the blade? No, it's on the clip there. This is the, this is the Benchmade Pagan. And I actually got this at, from a good friend for a birthday present. And this is my first out the front knife that I've ever owned other than a couple that I've done reviews on from Schrade. But uh, yeah, this is, so it's a chisel grind, 154 CM. And this is getting rolled into my everyday carry setup as well. Just a cool cool knife again you got to be aware of you know what you can have legally in your area what you can't have but this is this guy's this guy's a rock star cool knife another knife i've been running on and off is the uh, ontario knife company utilitac kind of a unique design you can see um, very textured handle it is an assisted opening and it's got that blade kind of drops down so let me just show you here it is a liner lock but when you pop it open. I mean, that thing really, the thing flies open and then you can lock it. 
push that little button to the side. So yeah, this has been a cool little knife. Uh, I'm just using that kind of as an EDC option, testing it out, and I'll be doing a review uh, on this one and letting you guys know a little bit more about this in the future. Let me put these guys to the side here so I don't accidentally cut myself in the process of talking about these things. Uh, this has been another go-to for me, Boker Nano. Uh, looking back, I don't know if I would have gotten the lime green again, maybe the black, but it's just a cool, cool little knife. And you know, as far as your basic everyday, everyday carry uh, uses, cutting boxes open, slicing things, cutting little pieces of rope or string, whatever. This is this has been a cool knife, and just so so small. I mean, look at it when it's all folded up. That thing is just really tiny. And I don't own, I don't know if I own any other Bokers. This might be the only Boker I own, but I've I've liked this one. And it's 440C for the steel. Um, not super expensive. I think it's probably in the $25 to $35 range, if I remember. But that's been a cool, cool little blade as well. I wanted to clear all that stuff out of the way so you could actually see this belt too. This is the Trackline belt. And I featured this in a video about survival and tactical belts. This could definitely be used as a gun belt. Very sturdy, very sturdy item. Comes with two different buckles. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to cut it to size, then you're going to attach this end to the, uh, the, the, uh, basically the end you, you've cut off. And then let me just open this up. And it's called the track line because the way it's set up here is that you have this little system which is spring loaded and then over here, let me get the light correct so you can see, yeah, there it is. You can see there's a track here. So listen as you slide this in, like so, listen to it click. Right, and now it cannot pull back because it locks in. The only way you can un you can um, release it is you press up on this. Now you can. It's a little bit hard to do like this at this weird angle, but press it, and now you can pull this back and remove the uh, remove the belt. But cool because once you have the belt, you know, cut to the proper size, they send you a long belt and you cut it. Then you basically slide this through, and that locks in. So you're not going to have the belt falling apart. Track line belt, really cool, and this is from Core Essentials. And uh, again, I'll put a link to these guys down below. You can get it in black, you can get it in brown as well. They did this as a Kickstarter campaign. It was really, really successful. And I know other people who have used these and run these and been really happy with them. So I definitely encourage you to check this out. Core Essentials, this is the Trackline belt. Uh, this is just a really inexpensive belt from EK USA. I got this at SHOT Show. The guy gave me a bunch of these and said, hey, if you want to give them away or whatever, you can do that. So you'll see some of these being given away. I've already given away one, I think, in a... Um, in a contest on Facebook. It's basically webbing, not super expensive plastic clip there, but just a really basic belt. You're not going to carry a gun. You're not going to carry anything really heavy on this, uh, on this belt, but I've used this on and off. And I like it because it's just so, so lightweight and uh, fully adjustable. You don't have individual holes you got to adjust to. You can just adjust this as you see fit. You know, basically you run it through and then click this down wherever you want it to, uh, wherever you want it to stop. Got a few more items here. This is my Fitbit. Nothing super special about that, um, but that's what I've been wearing as a watch and also because it is a Fitbit. I know some people like the Garmin version of these ones better, but this one has worked just fine for me. In my current keychain setup, I basically took a, uh, a Maxpedition, I think it's called the Tr Tritium Keychain System, and it was basically these two clips on two separate sides and then like a third kind of ring or web section up here and I just cut out that middle section so this is how I run it when I get into the car I pop this off I put this like in the console and then I can put this into the uh, car to drive the car and that way this isn't hanging and bouncing off my leg the whole time work key house key um, and then this is the my key this was a Kickstarter and this is like a little utility tool I actually used this to open up a couple boxes yesterday you know, bottle opener, um, you can use that to open up boxes. You got some hex wrenches there. It is titanium, so it's very, very, very lightweight. My go-to for my light has been the Nightcore tube. Let's see if we can get up to the higher setting. There it is. And then the cool thing about this is when you hold it down, it'll scroll all the way up to the highest setting, flash, back to the bottom. Oh, right, it doesn't flash. Yeah, it just goes back to the bottom. So you got a lot of different settings for this one. So that's a great little flashlight. And then I've got this little um, this tree utility. Uh, I think they call it, people call it a peanut lighter. So there's a lighter in there. And uh, yeah, I carried this around. This has worked for me quite well. I, I thought at first it was leaking a lot of, uh, of lighter fluid, but as long as you keep it sealed tight and you got a good O-ring in there, and you got a lighter option on you all the time. 
I still don't think my keychain quandary has been answered. I still don't know ultimately if this is the one system I want to go with, but it's working okay for me right now. Three of the things I've been using, this is the Slim Fold wallet. And uh, yeah, so that's, this is super lightweight, super small, compact. Um, I really like the VanQuest wallets, but I've just been testing this one out for a while. It does limit the amount of cards I can carry and stuff I can carry. But um, this has been a, it's been a good wallet, nice and lightweight. And even though I've beat it up pretty well, it's, there's no tears or anything. So it's been a good wallet for me. Definitely would recommend checking that out. This is a newer item. This is a uh, tactical slash survival pen, I would say, from JP Tech. And uh, it's basically kind of a modular system. You can put a bunch of different things on it. There was a Kickstarter campaign. There's a fire steel in here. I actually lost part of the end section. So there's a glass breaker. There's also a whistle. Um, I'll show you the fire steel here real quick if I can if I can do this properly. It's a little bit hard to do on camera. Let's see if this will. Am I doing that? Yeah. So there's your fire steel right there, and then you can swap out the um, swap out the pen if you want to. Again, a whistle, fire steel, glass breaker, a bunch of different things built in. So I'm gonna see if they can send me a replacement end section there. Definitely a bigger tactical pen, not something you're gonna throw into a uh, you know into your pants pocket. It's just I think too big. But uh, it just offers you a bunch of different options, you know, with the with the fire steel, with the glass breaker, with the whistle, um, and again, like I said, there's some modularity to it, so you can add some other things in. Check out their. Um, I'll, I'll put some links to these guys down below, so you can check out kind of what they're doing. They also have a keychain pen, which I did a short video on, which is right here, similar, but definitely uh, definitely smaller, as you can see. And I took the little keychain loop off the end there. But JP Tech, I've been running that guy. This last item here is a multi-tool from Schrade, and I think this guy could be a serious winner for Schrade. This is the ST11, so you can see spring-loaded pliers. We do have a Phillips head there, and then let me actually close this up just to show you some of the uh, some of the tools. So you have a flat head there, and then uh, you've got a knife right there. Close it up. On this side, we have a file and you could probably use that uh, it's too wide actually to use as a screwdriver but file and a can opener and this is the thing i think is most cool about it is let me do this correctly so here's what it looks like to actually have the pliers deployed right but then over here on the other side if you close this up and then swing this out you have a pair of scissors and they are spring loaded and i mean they're large compared to most multi-tool size Scissors, those, these are quite big. I would say almost twice as big as your average size of uh, multi-tool scissors. So I've been carrying this around as really kind of like instead of an EDC knife, I've been carrying this as my EDC multi-tool. It doesn't give you a ton of options, but if you're looking for, you know, a knife, a file, a couple screwdrivers, and then scissors as well as those pliers, I think this could be a really, really cool option to check out. So once again, you swing this out. Now you've got the, uh, it's, it's a little bit too thick here on the end for me, but that is a, um, that is a flathead driver and then, Swing this out like this. Now you got multi-tool or a uh, pair of scissors right in your multi-tool. There you have a quick pocket dump of items I've been carrying over the past months and weeks. But again, like I said at the beginning, the most fun when it comes to doing these types of videos is reading your comments down below and hearing what you're carrying, what do you like, what do you not like, what have you swapped out, what are you now carrying versus what you were carrying in the past. You know, let's just hear about what you uh, what you're running and also which of these items do you like, have you used, do you want to know more about? Certainly in the comments, if you ask those questions, I'll do my best to get back to you and let you know about those things. I was planning originally on doing a pocket dump video like every month, but it just seems kind of like overkill. So I'll do it every handful of months just to let you know what I'm actually running. So like I often say, let's get the conversation started in the comments section. And uh, thanks as always for checking out the videos. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, just so you can be up to date what's happened with Everyday Tactical Vids. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. More videos coming soon. Take care.